They make me wanna testify. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be reacting to Let Me Out by Gorillaz. A little disclaimer in the beginning. I did a few other videos on Gorillaz. I'll link them down below for you guys to check out. But on the one that got the most of views, uh, a lot of people didn't understand why I chopped it. A lot of people didn't understand why I didn't actually play much of the video. Some people were confused as to why I was talking. And I don't know why, because I didn't really talk that much in the reaction with the actual vocal parts that I did include in the video. But due to YouTube's terms and regulations and copyright, as everyone knows, I cannot play the entire music video. I cannot leave bits where I am necessarily not talking too much. I do leave as much audio as I can in these videos so you guys understand what I'm hearing, but I do like to make little comments on things and if you guys aren't about that, if you guys don't understand that, you know, don't leave a rude comment. If you want to leave some feedback that may not be positive, but in a very mature sense, then be sure to leave it down below. I accept all terms. Uh, or all kinds of feedback, but if your comment is rude or is a form of like harassment or is just really unnecessary I'm just gonna delete your comment and it won't be there anymore I've already like put in some settings to delete certain comments from coming up So there is that I make these videos so that way I can talk with you guys about music And we can have some conversations in the comments and you guys can find each other and just create a really nice musical community And that's what I am trying to represent here. So, we're gonna to react to this, and yes, I am a fan of Gorillaz. A lot of people were like, oh, she's not a real fan, or oh, this and that, but people react to music differently. I'm not here to say in a big detail about describing Gorillaz history and everything, but um, yeah, uh, I'm really excited to hear this and see how it sounds compared to the rest. By the thumbnail, I can already tell it's not gonna be a visual like the others. Um, where they were all connected into Spirit House. So we're gonna see what the visual is on this and how it sounds. I've had O Green World and Revolving Doors stuck in my head for like the past two weeks, so I've been listening to that already. But The Fall, a great album. Honestly guys, it's so good. So good. And Demon Days, of course, their last release. You know, people are going back to that a lot to hype up this new album and see what it's all about since their hiatus. We're gonna listen to this. We're gonna see what it's about, and hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction, and again, all the other ones I have are in the description down below. Let's get into it. Mama Mavis, oh mama, they try my patience. It's gone. That was... We mourn, I'm praying for my neighbors. I love how they did the audio for this. The audio visual. You can hear him saying, let me out in the background. <laughs> I just love his voice so much. I can see that being used in a horror movie, like, trailer. I guess that works. Ooh. Ooh. I like how it says the change is coming, you best be ready, because it's like really hyping up this album. This is like a really great track to get people even more excited for this album. It's kind of like saying, like, you better be ready for this. Okay, that was so good. I literally have goosebumps everywhere. Um, it gave a really spooky vibe with the constant repeating of Let Me Out. Uh, it just kind of reminded me of the movie Get Out, which is... Ugh. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I could definitely see that being used in a horror movie trailer. I think that'd be a really good choice. It says the change is coming. And it says that towards the end of the song. And that's a really good build-up. That would have almost been a perfect first single. Although the Saturn Bars video, like, Jesus Christ. But... This would have been a really good first one to like, kind of also hype up that like, the change is coming. And I am so excited for this album. It's implementing so many good artists and really helping people discover them. Like Vince Staples, he's a fucking genius. I love his album. It's amazing. I definitely went and listened to it after I had listened to Ascension. Very, very good 
uh, choice of implementing other artists, very good style choices that they are making, and I did say that it had to be a specific taste, and what I meant by that was there are a lot of people who don't like the gorillas, aside from the fact that they are implementing different genres with each song, and they are not genre-based group. Um, some people just can't get into the vocals, and some people just can't get into the fact that they aren't consistent. So that's what I mean by specific taste. I'm not saying that they are a specific genre. Super, super psyched for the rest of the album, and I really like that they're releasing all these songs. Some people don't like that they're releasing all these songs, and I understand, but I am allowing it. I am accepting of it just because of how far along they were away from us. You know, the hiatus was crazy. So, again, very excited for this album. Can't wait for more songs to be released. If you guys haven't checked out my other Gorillaz videos, they will be in the description down below. And I love you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Peace out, Girl Scout.